contest, having outpointed the man from Armenia, Rant Tarosian, with a unanimous point decision verdict to progress through to this round of 16 stage. So we're underway then. 81 kilogram light heavyweight action between boxers from Brazil and Russia. Two 18 year olds facing off in this round of 16 contest. The boxer wearing red is Thiago dos Santos. In his first bout of Piazza 2021, part of a seven strong Brazilian boxing team. His opponent. That's Lee Kaverin, 2020 National Youth Championship silver medalist in Russia, here in his second bout. Very steady southpaw. Terrific concentration and has a happy habit of taking what his opponent presents to him. Not just presents, but what he creates as well with his fainting and educated right, right hand lead. Plenty of fencing with the lead hands. Right hand to the body was a scoring shot from Dos Santos. Two boxers falling into one another. We approach the midpoint of this opening round. Well, the fencing resumes. South Pole left was a speculative shot from Kaverin. Sporadic bursts forwards from Dos Santos, but not really able to find the range against his slightly taller opponent. Right hand over the top wasn't too far away from Dos Santos. There's a whipping left hand slashed into the body. So, two minutes gone. No boxer finding the range with any consistency in what is proven to be a patient affair so far. There's another left hand to the body. Different type from the one that Kaverian landed previously, but that is proving to be a profitable area of success for him. Left hand to the body once more, so we've seen a whipping bolo shot. A more conventional hook driven in, and then a straight left cross targeting the torso of the man in red. Again. Just an example of how he takes what is available, Kaverin. Really did control matters wonderfully in his contest in the previous round. The closing seconds of round number one. Thiago Dos Santos not really able to find a range with any consistency in this, his opening bout of Kielsa 2021 here. But he's got a share of it for two of the five scoring judges. 3-2 split in favor of Kaverin. Round two. So into the second round we go. Women featuring in this championships for Brazil's boxing team. Dos Santos 
falls with a good right hand to the body. Russia have a boxer in every weight class in both the men's and women's tournaments. Whipping left hand to the solar plexus once again. Good left jab upstairs from Dos Santos. Been a long wait for him, six days to get his tournament underway and maybe in the opening round, just looking to find his range. He appears far more settled here, but he did take a left hand to the body just a couple of moments ago. So both boxers content to fend off the lead hand of their opponent. Kaverian looking for that whipping left into the solar plexus once again. Dos Santos reaching with that right hand and that could well be counted if he continues to overreach like that. Kaverian looking to whip in that backhand to the body once more. That's the, well, shots being called low. So two shots, Salvo upstairs, followed by a left downstairs, right, left, right. Left, right, left from the start four, excuse me. And there's a good left cross from Kaverian, perhaps his most solid headshot of the entire tournament. Excuse me, of the entire contest. So just beyond the halfway stage, as another left hand scores for Kaverian. Dos Santos looked to counter and then got through with a left jab. So it's been fought at a measured tempo, this one. Plenty of patience in evidence. Dos Santos trying to quicken the tempo, but Kaverian was no longer there. There's that left hand to the body once again. Not a devastating blow, but it's a scoring blow from Kaverin. Good right hand landed by the man in red. He's targeting the backhand to the body now. Is Dos Santos. Snaking left jab after catching the right hand with his left. Catch and counter from Dos Santos with a nice move. No command of break, and Dos Santos just seemed to lose his concentration momentarily there. The blows that Kaverian landed weren't solid. They were more of the glancing variety. Dos Santos getting onto the front foot at the sound of the 10-second clap. Well, an exhale from Kaverian after his efforts in that second round. He takes it on a 4-1 split. So he leads three of the five judges, it's all square for one. Josh Santos leading for another judge. So there's a counter last left hand from Kaverin, which was effective. Well, we saw Kaverin ex exhale and he took every second of the 60 to remain on his stalk. Dos Santos was up early just sending the message that I can do this all night. But can he step on the gas? A bid to overturn this contest. It's very close going into the third and final round. He leads for one judge. Kaverian leads for three judges. It's all square for the other. So can somebody perhaps quicken the tempo because it's been fought at this type of pace all contest long? Dos Santos spoken to about straying low with his attempted body shot. Santos losing his bearings in the boxing ring, ending up with his back to his opponent. I wonder whether he would have noticed Kaverin, perhaps just breathing in labored fashion as he made his way back to his corner. He scores with a short right hand over the top and then a hard right hand to the body of the man in blue. I think a change in tempo from either boxer 
Could well be, would certainly be effective, but could well be decisive as well. Good left cross landed by Kaverin. Neither boxer appears to be capable of injecting that increased work rate at the moment. Counter left hand is a solid shot to the body from Kaverin, who all of a sudden seems to have found a second wind and he's looking to increase his work rate through this portion of the round. Hard left hand being dug in, showing good variety. In his use of that punch is Kaverin. Lead right hook was off the mark, the follow-up left cross got through. Or Dos Tantos was pinned to the ropes. Or the boxers fell into a clinch. Inside the final minute, it doesn't look as though any boxer is going to be able to go through the gears, but there's a wonderfully picked left cross from Caverin. Dos Santos tries to counter with a left hand of his own. Both boxers really feeling the pace here. And all of a sudden, it's Caverin who appears to have more energy because he's up on his toes and looking to get onto the front foot. Dos Santos rather languid with his movements. He had his head pivoted. Left and right by a two-shot combination from the man in blue. Flashy left uppercut wasn't too far away from Kaverin. Dos Santos just not able to go through the gears, which is what he would have needed to do. And credit to him, Kaverin finding some energy from somewhere. Look at how tired Dos Santos is up in the boxing ring. Well, that was a hard contest for both boxers, but for my money, it is the man in blue who will be going through to the quarter-final stage. He appeared to be really weary at the end of the second round and at the start of the third. But then, from somewhere, he was able to produce more dynamism in his boxing. And he should be the victor here. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this round by split decision is the boxer from Blue Corner, Vasily Kaverin. And there is confirmation of a split decision victory in favor of Vasily Kaverin, Kaverin taking it 4 1 after three very hard fought rounds in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. It's been a long wait. For Thiago Dos Santos, he got his tournament underway. Eliminated in his first appearance here at Kielsa 2021.